G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com. I hope you've seen my previous couple of videos about the new features in Photoshop Elements 2021 and the Organizer 2021. If you haven't got to see them yet, why don't you um, click over the links will be below and you can check them out. But if you have looked at those videos, you might have seen all the cool new features and you're wondering if it's really worth upgrading. In this video, I'll walk you through the different things to consider when you're thinking about upgrading Photoshop Elements. But one thing to remember is that in Photoshop Elements, you buy once and use it as long as you like. So you don't have to upgrade every time a new version comes out. So now that we've seen all the new features, your burning question will be, should you upgrade? Well, if you've seen a standout feature that you love in this review, I would recommend. Remember, you can get the upgrade price if you've purchased any past version of Photoshop Elements. You don't have to upgrade every year to still get that discount. Each version of Photoshop Elements brings with it some new guided edits and performance improvements. But every year I still get questions about whether people should upgrade. In the US, Photoshop Elements costs about $99 and the upgrade typically saves you around $20. You can upgrade from any previous version of Photoshop Elements. Once you buy Photoshop Elements, you can use it as long as you like. This is called a perpetual license. Many people don't upgrade every year, so it's a big saving compared to monthly fees for Photoshop CC. For recent versions, you'll have a free Adobe login and you can always find your license key and the software downloads if you need to reinstall it. The first thing to consider if you are in the market to upgrade is if your computer can run Photoshop Elements 2021. You'll need eight gigabytes of RAM and around 10 gigabytes free on your internal hard drive to install the software and run it happily. For Windows, you'll need to check which version of Windows you're running. You'll need version 10. For Mac, you'll need 10.14 or newer. If you are using a version of Photoshop Elements without a year in the name, it's time to upgrade. If you have Photoshop 15 or earlier, it's time to bite the bullet. So many new features have been added since then. If you use Photoshop Elements to edit your photos and have Photoshop Elements 2018 or older, I'd recommend upgrading this year. There are now 53 guided edits, layer groups, adjustments to facial features and support for the new HEIC and HEVC files from iPhones and there's been tons of performance improvements. If you run a small business or have your own personal brand, I recommend upgrading this year. This version of Photoshop Elements has lots of social media for specific features like quote graphics, moving pictures and built-in sizing for social media to make your job a lot easier. If you're keen on video editing, you will want to check out the upgrade. I don't teach Premiere Elements here at Digital Scrapbooking HQ, but if you'd like to do more than just create slideshows with your family video, I do recommend Premiere Elements. If you use the video editor regularly, this version is worth the upgrade. There's a host of new features, improved playback performance, reveal video guided edit, double exposure guided edit, automatic object selection, new audio tracks and more. If you use Photoshop Elements Organizer 2018 or earlier, this is the year to upgrade. You'll have maps again. Unfortunately, some of you lost your maps when Adobe changed over their mapping provider. There's a massively improved people view and automatic catalog backups, plus many more performance improvements, including much, much faster loading of the catalogs. Consider upgrading from any version of Photoshop Elements if you find that the organizer is a bit slow for you. Just make sure you have a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM. Remember, you can always convert your existing catalogs for use in the newer version. If you're still not sure whether you should upgrade, why not leave me a comment to let me know what version you're currently using and what features you use most. And I'll let you know whether Photoshop Elements 2021 has got something new for you. I hope that little roundup has been helpful. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements, 
or digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.